Hello and welcome to another microsurgical tutorial. My name is Dr. Alan Nisse and I have a quick tutorial for you for the use of bioceramic retrofilling, the combination of the root repair material and the putty, um, which is a technique that I've developed and I think is a very good um, way of producing a better seal and improving your seal during your retro preparations. The tooth that was referred to us was tooth number seven. This tooth has a periapical lesion. There's a long post and a recent crown that has been placed in all the anterior sextant uh, teeth. There is adequate aesthetics. The patient's very happy with the crowns. However, um, the lesion has been uh, a lesion has been developed and there is no gutta pressure remaining in the canal. I guess I theorized that probably during the preparation for this long post, the remaining portion of the gutta pressure had been removed. Either way, there is a lesion present, and this is another angle, and the sinus tract. Um, we decided to treat this surgically and place a retrofilling. It's important to understand that when you are left with a small amount of root at the end before you reach the post, you should be very careful with your retro, um, with your apicoectomy, so you don't remove too large of a segment and leave yourself with a very short amount of um, uh, canal space for producing an adequate seal. So this is the portion that you need to be aware of. So here we can see that we have reflected a flap and the periapical lesion is apparent. The back of a uh, large spoon is then used to gently cure it out the lesion which is now sent to a lab and the diagnosis for this particular lesion ended up being a periapical granuloma